Hi everyone, welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Um, so I'm going to be doing a general reading and let's see what messages come through. something going on here huh. okay Okay, so for whoever this resonates for, this Divine Masculine, um, he's at a distance from Divine, uh, sorry, he's at a distance from the Karmic person. This Karmic person is in, uh, they are stuck somewhere. Like this Karmic person is alone. They're stuck. So th they could be in isolation. They could be, I. it could have to do with their living environment or the place that they work but whatever it is they're unable to um meet with this divine masculine it looks like that divine masculine doesn't even want to meet with karmic they they are already apart physically apart divine masculine um he doesn't have any Divine Masculine is being held down by something himself. So these two are, are stuck. Karmic is stuck in one place. Divine Masculine is stuck in another place. This Divine Masculine is held down because of a number of things. Um, it has to do with uh, circumstances. I feel like this Karmic person is getting upset at Divine Masculine for not making effort to reconnect with the karmic but divine masculine is dealing with a lot of things in his own um life that and he for some reason he cannot um go to where this karmic is at these two are physically um far apart and this karmic is getting upset because they feel that divine masculine is not making any effort to try to see them in some sort of way but divine masculine has a lot of things on his plate already um Divine Masculine has already made a decision that he doesn't want to put any more effort in this connection with this karmic person. He feels that it's not going anywhere, that his, his plans for a future that he dreamed about, um, it never took off. It never went anywhere. I feel like Divine Masculine, he feels upset that this um, karmic person... Um, came in the way between him and Divine Feminine. Um, he feels that he has, his wishes could have come true. His life would have been different if he had continued on the path with Divine Feminine. And he has regrets. I feel like he's already um, spoken about his feelings in some sort of way, not directly to Karmic, but he's, he's um, kind of like being tough on karmic so like he's not polite like i feel like this karmic is being quite rude over the phone or what however they're communicating from a distance but uh this divine masculine i feel like he is being very direct with this karmic this karmic person is worried and jealous that divine masculine is going to try to reconnect with divine feminine um Karmic is, I feel like Karmic is getting upset and they are getting stressed out because I see a lot of things having to do with, um, they're unable to sleep, sleep at night. They're unable to be, at, like they don't have any peace. Like they are 
restless. They are stressed. Um, They are stuck within their own thoughts, this karmic person. This per karmic is thinking a lot about divine masculine. What is divine masculine doing? It's the insecurity here. What is divine masculine doing while we are apart? Who is he talking to? Why is he not connecting with me? Uh, karmic is being very insecure, um, paranoid. It feels like paranoid. They are not forgetting things about um, Divine Feminine. This karmic is worried that Divine Feminine is going to be part of Divine Masculine's life. They're, they are thinking about old memories um, connected to Divine Feminine and, and the Divine Masculine. So let's move on from that because that karmic looks like she's having some kind of I don't know, it feels like a meltdown or something. Very paranoid, very worried, and very stressed. And I feel like she's doing a stressful calls or stressful, like the conversation, it feels like Divine Masculine is trying to avoid and I can hear, see here um, that Divine Masculine is, doesn't want to even engage in conversation with this karmic person. They like the distance. I feel like they're grateful for the distance. Even though they are stuck, like they cannot even move towards karmic, but I feel like they are kind of grateful that, oh, good thing, like I have to deal with this because I don't think I can deal with the stress of karmic right now. So there's something going on with somebody's family members here that there's some kind of bitter truth that's, forcing these family members to come into balance. The harsh reality of the connection, I think, between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic is forcing the family members to come into a reality, like to restore balance within the Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine's home. This feels like a Divine Masculine's family who were in denial about the connection between Karmic and and the Divine Masculine. I feel like the reality of their relationship is starting to, um, they're becoming bitter towards this karmic individual. And now they are thinking about Divine Feminine. The family is thinking about Divine Feminine. I feel like there is a comparison between the karmic and, and the Divine Feminine. This could be Divine Masculine's parents, siblings, whoever they may be, but they are making a comparison between Divine, Mas Divine Masculine's relationship with Divine Feminine when he was with Divine Feminine, how he used to be, and how he is now with the karmic person. The bitterness is there. Like they, it's, a, it's a harsh truth, harsh reality. There's embarrassment here too. Family feels embarrassed for some reason. You may know. Um, I see something good here. Oh. Yeah, for Divine Feminine, there's some good things over here. Um, Divine Feminine is very, we know, Divine Feminine is very strong. Um, she stands up for for herself, she's very independent. He or she just take as resonates. Uh, this divine feminine, um, they are unaware that there's going to be some kind of message coming in. Um, this can either come from the divine masculine or the divine masculine family members. So family members could be reaching out to divine feminine regarding divine masculine. Um, I think because of this harsh reality, there is some sort of regret here. I think family had a lot of influence in this Divine Masculine's life. And because the balance is being restored within the Divine Masculine's family's home, they are able to see more clearly about the Divine Feminine. I feel like there's some sort of awakening happening within the Divine Masculine's family's home. Like his parents, his siblings. This is part of this particular 
divine plan. Whoever this resonates for, this, this family is going to be awakened to the knowledge of the divine feminine and divine masculine being, being one that they are meant to be. Because of this, they are going to, I feel like they are the ones who are going to start the connection again. These family members at one point, they may have been very close to Divine Feminine or may currently have some sort of connection with Divine Feminine. Um, but they are the ones who are going to initiate the first... Um, they're going to make the first move to reunite Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. There's going to be a huge transformation here, a new beginning. Um... I feel like Divine Feminine doesn't have to do anything, whoever this Divine Feminine is, because Divine Feminine has already done a lot of their own work. They are connected to God. They've, they've done their own spiritual work. They've grown a lot. They've matured. They've learned a lot. They've transformed into a new being because I see a complete transformation here. And Divine Feminine, I feel, is just minding their own business. And all of a sudden, this Divine Masculine family member or Divine Masculine himself. But I feel like it's the family members. Somebody, it could be the, fa it could be the Divine Masculine's parents. Either the mother or the father reaching out to Divine Feminine. I feel like they are going to come with um, a very, that it's good. Whatever the, the connection is. Um, the communication will be good. But Divine Feminine has no idea this is about to take place. They have a lot of regrets because I feel like they had a lot of say. Um, and they may have been the one to introduce Divine Masculine to this karmic in the first place. That could be a reason why they feel guilty or ashamed in some sort of way. On the bitter reality, there's, there's a reality, the truth came here. It will be shown to this family members. It's going to be a very emotional ride. Like I feel like there's, the start of it is going to be kind of like surreal, but it's going to be emotional, but in a good way. It's kind of like... Everyone will be relieved. And I feel like the parents are going to be very relieved and happy. Like, I feel like right now, I feel like this, this divine masculine's parents or mother, father, um, or parent, just take as it resonates. This is somebody who's very protective and caring and loving over the divine masculine, but I don't feel like they are karmic. This is karmic is separate energy over here, the karmic partner. I just see these these individuals were very protective and they only it was like they were only listening to one side of the story. They didn't really give divine feminine a chance. And now when they know who divine feminine really is, they realize that divine feminine is very genuine, rare, um very loyal, very loving, caring, and I feel like they realized that that was a good match for Divine Masculine. And the truth that came out about this karmic person, I feel like Divine Masculine may have shared some of this information from this karmic, or it could be the actions of the karmic that made Divine Masculine's family realize that this karmic does not have any type of... Um, Feelings, like genuine feelings for Divine Masculine or any love for his family as well. It feels like they realize that there's a selfishness here in this karmic energy. So now that this family knows, they are going to reach out to Divine Feminine in hopes that there will be some sort of union here. So they, there's, this is a family that will give their blessings for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And I feel like this Divine Feminine, she has no, no, um, 
like when she she sees the divine masculine's family or parents i feel like she has respect for them like she's not angry or anything like i feel like divine feminine knows that divine masculine has made um not has not made the best decisions in his life and divine feminine has grown a lot to the point where she's she's like okay if that's what they want then let it be and i feel like divine feminine may have just like let let things be like left it in the hands of the divine um i feel like this divine feminine in some cases may have been very close to divine masculine's parents that's why um he or she does not feel upset in any way but i feel that if if one of these like either the mother or father or whoever they may be reaches out to divine feminine it will be a good discussion it will be genuine and it will be um out of love like it will be nice a little bit uh shocking because i feel like some time has passed but it will be a good uh reconnect of the parents but in some cases it could be the divine masculine self but i i feel it very heavy towards um the family so it's the family that i feel is going to help them come back to union so divine masculine what i see here more information he is going to cut full communication off um uh, with this karmic person uh he's either going to change his phone number or he's going to block like something about instant communication that will be completely blocked off having to do with the karmic person he's tired of um the back and forth games and he's tired of this uh karmic energy um draining and stressing him out during this time i feel like during this time he's just trying to um get his life together and he's stuck wherever he's at and this karmic is just pressuring him to come back um towards her but he cannot because of his circumstances and he has a lot of uh, responsibilities it feels like he's like i can't just leave my my job i can't just leave everything and come to you i have to i have to work i have to take care of myself and this is a time where i need to uh, get my my stuff uh, together right like can't you wait you know we we are you know not in a um we are in this situation right now and we need to we need to make things you know work but i feel like this karmic is like i don't want to try to make things work i just want you to move here because of the insecurities that this karmic is feeling or just come towards me sort of thing because i feel like they don't want divine masculine at a distance and out of sight they're worried that divine masculine is going to drift away or detach um themselves but it shows here that he because of the distance it's going to help him clear out what he needs to clear out and it's going to help him have more clarity and when he feels more like at ease like stress free it's going to make him realize that that's not the energy i need to be in with that karmic person like he i feel like that energy is draining him a lot and when he starts to feel peace he's going to feel like this is what happiness this is what peace feels like and i haven't felt this way in a long time so why would i give that up like i feel like he's like in w- one hand i have peace I have a stress-free life and the other hand I have this karmic who's always like yak 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 <laughs> on the phone right So he he just doesn't want to deal with that I feel like he'd rather just let this karmic go and he will let this karmic go because he's going to he's going to do something with his um his number i feel like he's going to block it or he's going to change it all together he's going to stop the communication because right now they are physically at a distance that there's no way for this karmic to disturb or bother the divine mask and the only thing is through technology right whether it be like um a phone call or video call whatever it is so divine mask is going to put a stop to that so he's going to be able to continue on what he needs to work on
I feel like even after he um, puts a block um, on the divine, when, sorry, the divine masculine will put a block on the karmic person, um, the karmic is going to work very hard to somehow um, irritate or neg the divine masculine. And I feel like they're going to do it through other means like say if they have mutual friends on social media this karmic maybe may spread some kind of thing on the social media or try to communicate through so and so and so like send a message to divine masculine for me tell him that you know to contact me or something like that like i feel like she's going to start to go through other people and this is going to really irritate divine masculine because i feel like this divine masculine prefers to have more of a private life and i feel like he doesn't like um, the way that this karmic is going to handle things because this karmic is actually going to put on a show for other people she's going to he or she is going to um kind of like uh, involve um, people outside people to um, get involved because uh, divine masculine is not giving uh, karmic any um, time or attention so this karmic is going to try to irritate the divine masculine by either doing something um, that the divine masculine would be somehow able to see or try to connect with somebody who's going to connect um, it's like use somebody to to contact the divine masculine for them. Another thing that this karmic is going to do, they're going to um, start posting pictures or something on the social media, um, some old photographs. Um, having to do with divine masculine and the karmic um another way to kind of like irritate the divine masculine it's very clear here that this person is going to use some kind of um technology kind of communication and go through somebody and also they're going to be using old um images or something to do with divine masculine i guess to um grab his attention or something like that by posting old uh, pictures and getting attention from other people. there, This karmic is going to feed off of others' attention. So like say if, the, say if Divine Mask and Karmic took a picture at some kind of like, I don't know, restaurant like four years ago. This karmic is going to put it up and say something like, you know, um, oh, this was our you know or anniversary blah 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 right something like that just to get people to say oh you know happy anniversary to get all that attention and because they are all connected this divine mask is going to be going to see something like that so it it has to do with using other people to get information to go to divine mask and to irritate him because he's already connect uh disconnected the uh, communication between them okay so this is what I got for this reading. Um, I feel like I want to put a little bit more. <laughs> I just want to see what else is going on here. Again, there's information about the family putting their pride aside so that they can restore the balance between their family, divine masculine, divine feminine, because they want to see this union happen. Okay, so that's the reading I got for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment below or a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.